Hey, Ron Tio here. Today I'm testing out a new drawing app that's made for Windows touch screen devices and touch screen pen displays. And this app is called Stylus X. Okay, this is a new app, so there are still some bugs. Let me relaunch the app again. So I have encountered occasional crashes, just like what you saw earlier. But thankfully there is auto save so sometimes it will try to recover your artwork but as with any drawing app you should always have a habit of saving your artworks manually so this app will take some time to load the price of this app is around 20 to 40 us dollars depending on location so there is no fixed price uh, let me just create a new uh, file just to create a new quick sketch to talk about the overall workflow this is not a full review uh, if you want to check out my full review the link is in the video description below and i will be updating this review because i'm still discovering new things that uh while testing the app by the way the pen display that i'm using here is the xp pen artist ultra 16 with an oled touch screen so let's talk about the ui which looks kind of similar to procreate because there are sliders on the left tools at the top left and top right we have the brush palette glaze palette the color palette okay so let's create a new layer and import a file i just found out that i cannot create a screenshot and save it to clipboard and copy over so i have to import this file manually this photo reference manually okay let's go to the brush uh, let's go to another layer let's select a brush and start drawing while i talk more about the workflow so this ui is kind of similar to procreate if you do not know what procreate is procreate is one of the most popular drawing app on the ipad or probably the most popular drawing app on the iPad and this UI looks and feels kind of like Procreate so if you have used Procreate before um, you will be able to get used to drawing uh, with this app really quickly and if you have not used Procreate before this app is actually quite easy to learn very intuitive to use Okay, let me try and concentrate here uh, this is just a quick sketch nothing special i can see some latency and i'm not sure whether the latency is from the app or from the pen display so the latency uh, does affect drawing performance slightly let me go into the brush settings to see whether okay i do not have the smoothing enabled so there should not be latency with the brush Okay, I have already tweaked the pressure curve to help me draw thin and thick lines so we can get thin and thick lines quite easily. This is just a quick sketch to show you what this app is capable of. And if you buy this app from Windows App Store, uh, there is actually a 14 day refund. So even though this app does not have a trial version, you can still buy the app test it for a few days and get a refund within 14 days and you will be able to get a good feel of how this app performs within a few days because this app is really intuitive to use very easy to learn okay let's see what we have here oops so far so good performance is uh, performance is actually quite good but the performance will also obviously vary depending on what device you are using the selection of brushes that you can get with this app is actually pretty good there are many good brushes available and you can tweak the brushes as well there are many settings you can tweak and this app also supports tilt in addition to pressure sensitivity Okay. Um, I need the hair to be nearer to the eye let's go to the eraser uh, let me just slide up 
So one thing about drawing on a Windows device is uh, if you swipe from the left or sometimes if you touch here, there are widgets that will appear and it's quite irritating. Uh, that's not related to the app of course, but that's something you have to take note of when drawing on a Windows device. You can actually use keyboard shortcuts and this app actually supports many keyboard shortcuts. But for this, uh, for this video, I'm using mostly finger gestures. Palm rejection uh, works quite well with this pen display. And also this app supports palm rejection too. Oops, too big, the brush is too big. So I have to use the slider here to adjust the brush. Uh, let me just draw a very stylized drawing of this because I don't want to make this video too long because there are just too many tools like if you tap on the layers palette and you tap here there are so many things to talk about here when you swipe right there are things to talk about when you go into the brush library or when you go into all these manuals there are just too many things to talk about so if you want to learn what all those tools uh, what are the tools that are available uh, do check out my full review which i believe is going to be really long because there is just too many things to talk about the touch centric design oops the touch centric design works really well it has been a while since there is any uh, exciting drawing app that's released for touch screen devices and this one uh, stylus x is actually a pretty good one but um, as mentioned earlier just go download the app from just go buy the app first on uh, the windows app store test it for a few days if you don't like it just get a refund i'm sure uh, you will be able to find out whether you like this enough to buy the app Okay, the pen zoom and rotate features work uh, really well and I just realized the hair here is there's just too much hair let me just close up this section here and erase okay let's go into the coloring so for coloring let me just tap here on the layers palette I'm going to pull this out here create a new did I draw on the correct layer Oh, where is my line art okay I did draw on the correct layer so let me just color on this layer now I want to use the fill bucket tool uh, but there is no fill bucket tool or at least it's not in the manner that you would expect so first thing I need to do is to set this line art layer as a reference layer and then tap here in the colors palette choose a uh, well, skin tone color and drag tap here to drag the color here and release uh, this is a bit too dark let me make this lighter so unless you read the documentation you will not be able to know that you have to drag from the color dot here to the canvas to get the fill bucket so there are actually many hidden features that you have to learn by reading the handbook the documentation let me use the eyedropper here to select the eye color okay uh, eyedropper here to select this color make it a bit darker and there are many color tools you can choose so what is this color this looks okay let me undo um, I can use undo with two finger tap now if I use the keyboard undo it doesn't work that well sometimes I have to uh, tap a few times before the undo happens uh, so that could be a bug since it doesn't happen with oops one accidental undo let me see okay we have the redo there the redo button is there I wish the redo button is here because my left hand uh, is here I always use the redo button here with other drawing apps 
Okay, so there are selection tools as well. Let me just show you this selection tool. Uh, let me clear the selection first. Oops, this actually will clear off the layer. So what I want to do here is to remove the selection tool first. How should I do that? So I'm still trying to learn how to use some of the tools here. And now I'm going to use the selection tool to color this area more quickly. There is no shape tool that I usually use. So let me just draw this and color. Yeah, so it managed to fill this area here. There is no shape tool from the, oops, let me get out. There's no shape tool from the brush library though, which is the tool that I always use with my other drawing app concepts. So let me go back to the selection tool and draw here, color. So I can use this to draw, color, oops. Yeah, I don't like um, having to click and click to fill. I just like to draw and then have the color appear. So as with any drawing tool, you will need some time to get used to when drawing. Okay, let me get out of this and paint this. Oh, let's try the fill bucket tool again. Let's have a dark red hair here. Tap and drag. Tap and drag. Okay, I think there is an opening somewhere, so I can't do that, which is why I prefer to use the shape tool instead. Okay, let's draw this shape here. Color. Yeah, looks okay. Zoom in and color. Yeah, so far so good. No, no much issues with the workflow and no crashes. Yeah. So once you are very familiar with the app, you can actually work really quickly. Let me tap the layer here, drag this out. There are still some improvements the app can use. For example, there is a little bar here, but you cannot see the bar because the contrast is not good. Yeah, some of those things can be improved, like the contrast of the UI. And there is the dark UI and the light UI. So both have issues with contrast. Uh, let's tap here, eye drop to get some highlights. Okay, oops, oh, yeah, let me just just do like a really quick sketch. Let's tap here uh, to get her neutral color. Okay, this looks all right, I guess. Um, yeah, so I think that is it. That is all I want to say about this app so far. I will continue to test the app. And if you guys want to check out my full review link will be in the video description below whenever it's up. I was told at the time of review there is going to be a seven days trial version so you can test this app before buying. Okay, thanks for watching this video. See you guys in the next one. Bye.